Joining me now is Andras Viradi of Comsignia. Andras, thanks very much for talking with Telecom TV. Can I start by asking you to tell me a bit more about Comsignia for our Telecom um, viewers and also how you sit within the connected mobility ecosystem? Sure, sure. Consignia is, is the V2X company, is a V2X company. We are basically the protocol implementers. We have been working uh, more than 10 years now to realize uh, this connectivity layer, this glue layer. So when you're talking about uh, connected mobility and cars talking to each other, talking to the infrastructure, we are the enabling uh, technology uh, company allowing you to do so. We implemented all the open standards that are there in, in, in Europe, as well as in the US and in China. And what's your involvement with 5G AA and why do you participate in the 5G AA's week here in Berlin? Yeah, I mean, 5G is the place to be. Uh, it brings together the, the um, automotive uh, uh, companies, the automotive suppliers, the automotive industry, with the telecom industry, with the model mobile network operators and their suppliers. So you, you mentioned you're enabling the, the protocol, you're, you're connecting this. How, how does that work actually? Can you talk us through your, your solution? Yeah, sure. So these are open standards uh, designed by Etsy and by China SAE, um, SAE in the US, and we are implementing those. Uh, you can imagine that similar as Bluetooth. So Bluetooth is the best technology for peripherals and audio. And there, are, there, is, there is a Bluetooth stack behind every Bluetooth product. So for, for, connect, for traffic connectivity, for traffic safety, there is a similar technology, a dedicated similar technology that was designed for this particular uh, case. And that's what we call V2X, and that's what our company implements. So who is it you work with? Is it the automotive OEMs, is it the telecom uh, operators? Yeah, so we are the glue layer. We want to be the one that is connecting everyone with everyone. So we are providing solutions to each and every uh, supplier. We have, we have roadside units for the infrastructure. We have onboard units for aftermarket devices. But we are also there in mass production deals with the OEMs. So when they want to introduce V2X into a new fleet of cars, we are their software providers. Now, V2X is emerging rapidly. There's a lot of work going on to develop V2X. What might we see in the coming years? How is this sector evolving? Right now, what we see is that we have emerging the short range, the PC5 solution, uh, which is very good for, for low latency, very good for functional safety. And in parallel, we see the, the cellular connectivity, the normal 4G, 5G uplink connectivity, the UU, uh, when you're using uh, classical cellular connectivity. And they are also working to, that's, that can also be used for, for, for informative safety, for early warnings. And we see both of them rising at the same time. One of them having uh, a really good penetration uh, rate already. It, a lot of millions and millions and millions of devices already have them. You just need to add uh, traffic safety to them, why we have this dedicated technology with short range, which will enable in the end functional safety and cars braking uh, based on this information. And final question for you, what's required from the industry, whether that's the, the automotive, the mobility industry, or the, the telecoms industry, what do we need to do collectively to, to make all this happen? Yeah, we need, to, we need to invest more into connectivity and we need to invest more into connected uh, mobility because uh, automated cars and, and, and real traffic safety cannot be done without connectivity. There are no uh, uh, self-driving cars that will be efficient. A after some point, safety cannot be improved anymore with sensors only. Traffic efficiency cannot be improved without connectivity. So we just need to take this extra step. We need to connect traffic with each other in order to increase safety after a point. Uh, and increase efficiency after a point. It's very interesting. Andres, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you so much.